Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. So today we are just going to be running through the changes to the game version 2.2 I think it is. Um, now there have been issues by quite a few players experiencing that they aren't able to log in. Now Legends does know of this problem and they are going to, um, they are doing their best apparently to fix it and we will receive compensation apparently. Now let's hope it's not like the compensation we got of what, 9 or 8, 8 or 9 Chrono Crystals and like 2 skip tickets last time, so... We can hope for that. Um, let's just jump straight into these updates and then I'll discuss Goku Black's Zenkai uh, because there's just a few things I want to say. If you even care what I have to say, then cool, stick around. If you don't, well, bye. <laughs> so, update contents. Added Z missions, okay, everyday thing. I actually really like these changes that they've made. All energy ticket maximum limits have been increased from 99 to 200. Now, there's been many a time where, well, not actually many a time, a couple of times where I even had to spam spending my um, tickets in order to get the most out of them so I could fill up my, so I wouldn't have or exceed my limit. But yeah, anyway, so they're at 99 to 200 now. So anyone who actually spends money on the game and buying packs from the store get skip tickets and energy tickets. So that always piles up. So yeah, you'll, you'll not have any issues with that anymore. The skip ticket maximum is also 999, now has been changed to 2000. Thank goodness for that. Improved overall performance and image processing speeds. I must say, um, it just does seem, yeah, actually, yeah. Increased speed for character sorting. I must say, I have noticed that it is lightning quick. Compared to what it used to, if you used to auto select your characters, it used to take a second or two now it literally just does it instantly so it's so so nice not having that delay so you can just set your adventures so much easier um so we'll get we'll get onto adventures don't worry i'll give you my opinions on that nine moment and then basically improved overall performance yeah, we've done that uh added display of buddy's health when they were hit by a rising rush during co-op i'm not gonna lie i actually find that very helpful because in the Gogeta event now, it's actually very, very challenging. And watching their health go down is actually kind of daunting. It's like, damn. <laughs> but I think it's a cool feature. At least now you know how your buddy is doing to the Rising Rush and how well they're tanking and if they're going to die or not. So it's cool. Added the ability to move the party formation screen by tapping battle support members in co-op. Um, what? Battle or support? Well... Yeah, I'm, I'm not, it's, yeah, it's too, I'm, it's, I'm tired. <laughs> so if I don't like, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. Improved and stabilized matching process for PvP and hyperdimensional co-op. I don't know. Um, I haven't really, I mean, I've recorded, what, one video in the new season. Uh, so I can't really give an opinion on this one. So from what I've seen, I mean, the processing between PvP, if you watched my video yesterday, you'll see that it takes me a lot longer to load into PvP sometimes. So maybe that's stabilizing the actual connection, as they say, but um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it does seem like it is less laggy. There's still delay, but it doesn't seem as rough as it can be sometimes. So then also they've added, whoop, uh, they've added the ability to check soul boost status of characters. I mean, I thought that was always a thing, realistically. Uh, maybe they put it in a different place that I haven't seen it yet, but yeah. Added episode, sorry. Added episode, yeah, you know. <laughs> added episode to check the soul boost. No, episode character filter options. Now that's actually very, very helpful. I remember back in the day when Hit first came out, I had to filter at and then the Champa saga. So you had to type it out and if you got one letter wrong, it would screw you over and you had to just try and figure out where you went wrong. So they've added stuff like that to make it a lot simpler. So it's actually really, really nice. And your enemy's card sleeves now actually appear. So basically, in a rush, I will choose a green card. They will choose a blue card. We will be able to now see if you have a character Zenkai. So instead of it being the normal blast or blue card, it'll have the character that they've got Zenkai on there. Which I think is quite cool. So, I mean, I don't have any. I've got literally Shallot. That's about it. And then they fixed other bugs. So... I mean, it, it seems like a very cool update, and then you've got all these banners coming back, which, I mean, just don't summon on them, realistically, don't don't waste your crystals, it's, it's fully not worth. And what I want to talk about here is the adventures quickly. So, I don't like these adventures. I don't like the fact that you have to literally 
go hour by hour, hour by hour, hour by hour. And I still was not able to get um, 800,000. I was like six, 777,000 or something. And I was just like, it's just too much. And I put so many one hours on, but it was just, it didn't make it. And it was just horrible. It's just, they should seriously cut it in half, if you ask me, at least half, and give us more rewards per adventure. But anyway, um, these, I must say, this adventure actually seems very nice considering its rewards. You get slot removers, crystals, and you get um, these legend summon tickets, which are, I haven't used one yet, but I'll be getting one soon. So I'm quite interested, and I'm glad they finally introduced a long one, a seven hour. So when you're sleeping, at least now seven hours, can go past and you can get some decent rewards i think you get 400 and something per uh, little thing so if you get seven you get four four times seven is 21 you get 2100 per adventure if you get a good one but uh, or a mediocre one so i got 14,000 in my after my five seven hours expired so i thought that was quite decent 14,000 overnight which makes a huge difference so thank you legends for at least doing something like that it makes it a bit better but you still need to cut it down and i'm glad they have cut down the the amount that is needed i'm sorry i'm rambling so much guys so yeah get tons of lucky beans three times per day morning noon and night perfect for players who won't who want to take on adventures at their own pace then yeah it's just freaking irritating anyway female warriors so we will hopefully more than likely for valentine's day be getting a female warriors banner which i'm very very excited about I love the female warriors they are still fantastic i will be releasing a video of them before valentine's day because i really want to use the team again i haven't used them in ages when i record videos i barely ever use a team i want to use because i'm always trying out different teams so featured items basically there they are i'm not going to read through them you can read them yourself chrono crystals and tickets that's basically it so these do seem more friendly um they've got much much better rewards i'll say that it's still very irritating but this Gogeta, now moving on to the Gogeta co-op, it's actually quite tough, I must say. I mean, it's not, it's not like, it's just more insane because of the blue card. If you get hit by the Gogeta's blue card, especially after it pops a green, oh, it's over for you, realistically. It's, it's, it's a rough one. It's not fun. Now these, I love these battles. I personally am using the first one. As much as I need the slot erasers, I'm finding these more valuable because I want to get more soul power, which you can get from the Z shop. Uh, and if you get 10 of those, you can exchange for 100 Z power. Which, speaking of, let me actually, no, no, not news, I wanted to go to exchange shop. Uh, quickly, go there. Go here, check sparking dailies. So these basically don't waste your tokens. These two options are basically to get the characters. If you've already got these characters, Spend your money on this because this way you get a hundred so if you have to change five for you'll change exchange one of these you'll be getting 50. oh let's say this you get 100 z power for 14 of these instead you get 10 of you exchange one of these or 10 of these you'll get 100 so you're saving four so these are just to unlock the characters these are to upgrade them so just bear that in mind if any of you haven't ever thought of that so yeah i mean you know some people might just overlook it and not really care. So, yeah. What was I actually here for? That was it, I think. <laughs> so, that's really all I have to say in terms of that. They need to be giving these Legends tickets a lot more often. This is since the previous Step Up banner, and it's still on that. So, what I must say I actually really like that they've done is... Uh, let's say I actually want to get some of these tickets quickly. Uh, actually, no, that's not going to help. I have to actually get the these things go to the some of the adventures let's quickly add some energy and let's get five of these then get six of those hopefully it'll give me a good amount of equipment because when you want to do these equips you always have to like if you get a lot of equipment it'll always say would you like to go back and sell some equipment and you always had to go oh my god i have to leave this thing and go back and you had to just go physically and manually to save everything or to sell everything. Now at least they've done it in such a way where you can get taken straight there. Which is actually really helpful. Now there we go, perfect. So now, yeah, I want to skip tickets. It'll actually still let me. Wow, I've cleared out my inventory that much. 
that's actually a bit na that's a bit nuts. So let me do this quickly. There are a lot of quality of life improvements that they're making slowly but surely that I must say I do enjoy. So I hope they keep making them like this. But there you go. Cannot start story because equipment list is full. Sell unneeded equipment. Yes. Then you go down to your bottom. You sell these. Just going to sell those. Then you go click your back button. And then you are. You're back there. Instead of having to go from here to your equipment to there to go straight back to the bottom. Then I'll go all the way back. Find uh, back to find exactly where you were. It's now a, literally a two-step process that actually saves you quite a lot of time. So I must say I'm very impressed with them on that front. Now comes the Zenkai of Goku Black. I'm not very excited by it, I must say. It's very, very, very just meh. But uh, I will say that his damage is already decent, but it's nothing spectacular. So he didn't need all that many buffs, so that's why they've given him such little ones. As you can see here, instead of 20% blast damage he uh, received for enemies, it's 25. The only thing they've changed here is giving him an extra 10% um, extra health regain. But that's it. That entire ability has been changed for 10% health. Other than that, um, blast damage, it's all the same. There is literally nothing that's been changed. Body grows familiar. This is exactly the same, and this is exactly the same. The only thing they've added, which I must say is pretty good, obviously the ability, but he gets 10% inflicted damage per downed ally or enemy per, well, when this character enters the battlefield. So, let's say your enemy is two characters down. So he is a last, he's a last man standing, but you only have one character. Your enemy has just defeated your, two, your second last character. So you're both losing, or there are four characters in the game that are gone. He's getting an extra 40%. Just think about that. He's getting an extra 40% damage. That is actually really, really good. Actually amazing. And if he's defeated an enemy, he gets an extra 35. So he, if he's defeated two of them, he's getting 70% 70, 70 damage inflicted. So realistically, these little buffs are going to make him a very, very big threat. I am only going to be getting him zenkai in a matter of weeks. Because I spent the entire day yesterday farming up friendship points. I legitimately only got him up one level. Kid you not, I spent quite a lot of energy, spent the entire day trying to level him up. I got him up one level. The boo, the, the margin boo, I was able to do in a couple of days because he went from 1 to 10 very, very quickly. For some reason, this is taking forever. So I'm not going to be the first one to showcase him because it just takes too long for this character to get there. So, yeah. That's basically my two cents on the matter, guys. Um, the equipment's basically just that i'm very annoyed by this one i really wanted strike attack in this first slot and i get bloody defense and of course i get a z i was just upgrading it to see what the heck would happen and then i actually get a z from it i'm not gonna lie as cool as it is having a z it's just very irritating so i mean yeah that that's basically it that's basically it i would say this update is a step in the right direction so yeah i mean we'll just have to wait to see what happens in the future but for now, guys, that's my two cents on the matter. Let me know what you guys think of this update. If you are experiencing these issues of logging in, I'm really sorry. But like I said, they are working on the issue. And if you've stuck through this far in the video, I appreciate you. I really, really do. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, guys, and let you get on with your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.